G'day, g'day, welcome to Ellong Point. So I'm at Ellong Point today with me mate, Michael. I'll show you his paintings as we're going along. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have a go at painting um, a lookout of Pearl Beach. That's the plan, beautiful day, no wind, and uh, yeah, good day for painting. So actually a little bit warm today too. So we'll get up here, I'll get everything set up, and uh, yeah, we'll get painting. Okay, so Michael's already started. He's always a lot quicker than me. I've been a bit bit of a slow coach lately. <laughs> so anyway, he's he's into it. He got himself a new French French easel. Uh, how, have a look at that. How good that is. It's a lot bigger than my one. My one's not as wide, but um, his one's great. Yeah, I might have to invest in that. That's it was about one hundred and sixty dollars, wasn't it? About one hundred and sixty bucks Australian. So not bad. Looks pretty good. So anyway, he started the paint. I'll show you what we're looking at the site, or the, I'll show you guys what we're looking at the view. So yeah, this is Pearl Beach. You got Lion Island over there. Behind that over there is Barron Joey Lighthouse, which is the famous uh, Palm Beach, where they film Home and Away on the other side there. Then you got um, Avalon, uh, Whale Beach, Avalon, etc. Sydney's down that way. Maybe Sydney's about, I don't know what, 50 minute drive, I think, down that way. Something like that. So yeah, I'll take you guys over here. Get you guys over here. And I will show you, I've got to watch out here because it's, um, if you fall that way, you're gone. It'll be the end of my life. So I don't want to trip over and be one of those uh, statistics. <laughs> so yeah, you just got to watch, watch out. There we go, so that's Box Head over there. Basically Newcastle is that way, Sydney's that way. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. So yeah, what I'm, what I'm aiming for in the painting that I'm doing today, I'll see how I go about putting the tree in the foreground. I was thinking about doing like a silhouette looking through the trees out to the view, but um, I'll worry about that as I go, but I wanna, I want to capture mood in the painting. See how you got these clouds? I think I need something like that to give the scene a bit of pop. You got to think that when you do a painting, what will make the painting look good? Clouds, if you put some clouds in, or if you apply some shadow of clouds or something, you need something that's gonna make that painting pop and stand out so i've been thinking about that and michael's been thinking about it lately with with our paintings you need something that's going to make it look good so yeah so um i'm looking at that i'll probably do just that headland there i don't know if i put the island in yet anyway i'm looking at that subject there so i'll get set up and um we'll get painting
Okay, so that's what I'm looking at. What I'm going to do, I am going to have a tree in the foreground of this. So what I'll do is, is I will, um, I think I'll paint the painting and then chuck the tree in at the end. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to incorporate something like this uh, in front, in the foreground of the painting. So we'll add that at the end. How you going, Michael? You getting there? I certainly am. There you go, he's made a start, he's already got his, his island, that's Lion Island over there, he's got that in. And he's got his water in, his sky, and he's working on the island at the moment, and he'll be up to the foreground. And um, yeah, I've just started here. So yeah, I'll start with the sky. Nice shadow there, isn't it? Yeah, shadow will make, it, make the painting look good. I'm using cobalt blue with titanium white for my sky. Sun goes away, eh? Yeah. We're chasing the light.
Okay, I'm going to do this island. Well, ha there's half an island there, and this middle, middle ground. You can see the middle ground and the corner of it's in shadow. I'll be doing that and the island, and then I'll tackle the one in the foreground here, which I will have partly uh, in shade and partly in light. Just keeping it simple. My goal is to get the colours right. If I get the colours yeah, right, yeah, yeah, all close, yeah, all close enough. Get the colours right, and then don't fuss too much about detail. Yeah, yeah. And hopefully you get a good painting. Do you want a muesli bar? Um, yeah, I'll have a muesli bar. Cheers. Thanks, bro. Enjoy. Now this isn't an ad. <laughs> Oh, look at that shadow again. Yeah, the shadow's looking good, folks. If you want a drink, just help yourself. No worries, thanks, man. Now if I can nail this shadow colour, this will be the match winner. Just got to get this shadow colour right, using Viridian, Lizard and Crimson, Burnt Sienna, uh, Ultramarine Blue, tiny bit of Yellow Ochre, see how that looks. Bit more blue, bit more red.
Okay, what I'm going to do is get the impression of some houses in, get that in, get that part done, get the rock done, and then I'll look at the tree. If the painting looks good, I might not put the tree, but I want to put the tree in, so we'll see how we go from there.
All right, what I'm going to do now is get the shape of the tree in and uh, we'll go from there. Update on Michael's work. Oh, he's doing a second painting over here. There you go, there's his first painting that he done. Done a good job there. I think he caught, caught the essence and it's lo a loose painting, but he, he's got good mood in it. So that's the first one. And he's still going with the second one. I'll show you guys at the end. I better carry on. There's a kookaburra over here. He's eating something. Yeah, he's probably eating a worm. Let's see if we can get, get close. G'day, cooker. Laughing kookaburra. I had a look at it, I thought about it, spoke to me mate about it, and I think if I put the tree in this painting now, I might wreck it. And I think once I do that foreground rock and get that in, I think it's, it's okay, I won't need to put the tree in. Because I thought if I put the tree in, it might take the view away from what I've got. And it doesn't look too bad like when you get back and have a look at it. It's not bad little painting, so I'll tell you what I'll do. I probably won't put the tree in. I'll come back another day and do a tree painting. What I envisioned in what I envisioned back there, I'll do that on another canvas. So for another day. So yeah, I'll finish it off, do the foreground, and uh, yeah, we'll wrap it up. What would have you done? Would have you put the tree in, or would have you would have left it as it is? Tell me what you think in the comments. One thing you learn with experience is that um, you can have a good painting and you can wreck it. So you've got to think wisely with the choices that you make as you go along. Because I've, I've done literally hundreds of paintings where I had it going good and I've wrecked it. So you've got to think Think about your decisions, what you're going to do, you know, because it's important if you want to do a good painting, you want to get better as a painter.
Okay, just about done. What I've done is, you can see just down here, just down here there's that pine tree. I chucked that in. Just put it there. What I think I need to do now is just put a tiny bit of cloud, a little bit more cloud, and uh, that's about it. Okay, that just about does it, folks. Okay, I've done the painting at beautiful Pearl Beach. So, yeah, there, there she is. Beautiful Pearl Beach. It's a great place. Beautiful. Okay, I'll show you guys the paintings. First, I'll show you Michael's. He's done two loose impressionistic paintings I showed you the first one I'll show you again so what he's got yeah okay I'll just so that's the first one he done I think he caught a good essence of that it's simple but he's got the mood in it it's really good when you look at the paintings later like when they're on Instagram and that they look really good this is the second one he's done it's a bit hard to see with that with the sun shining through but he's he's done what i was thinking about doing very impressionistic as well thanks michael for coming along it was good adios happy painting adios amigos okay yeah happy painting everyone get out there and paint, paint, paint get paint. that's it paint paint get passionate about it find what grabs you that makes you want to bounce out of bed in the morning and go paint and you know the more you paint the more you get out the better you get and it's took me look i've been doing this youtube now for three years i've got about 200 videos of plain air and it's only like now that i'm getting better but don't be discouraged about that i've been a bit slack too so the effort you put in is the effort you get back if you work really hard six months time or whatever you'll be smashing it so get out there and paint so yeah there's the painting tell me what you think in the comments i didn't chuck the tree in yeah i'll, I'll have a look at it later and um if you want to check out my instagram um i'll put it in the description as well as michael's instagram you can check them out check out our works on instagram if you want to follow us on instagram so yeah anyway Thanks for coming along, and we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.